welcome back everybody to another episode of some building big witcher and how's everybody doing today in the last episode we came over here into the mine and started working on this little smeltery area in here and i think it turned out really really cool we're going to be doing some more work in here in this episode today but in the last episode we also went out to the end and fought the ender dragon and since that episode, I went ahead and went back into the end to get myself some Elytra from an end city. So now we can fly wherever we want to. Uh, let's go ahead and fly up to the top of this mountain and take a look at the area around us. Oh yeah, this is so nice being able to fly up here and get a look at our village from above finally. So you can see I have made some progress, some building progress in the area since the last episode. I built up this house here and this house over here and let's go ahead and hop down and get a closer look at those right now this house here i kind of strayed a little bit away from the nordic style i think maybe a little too far i don't know it's pretty similar to this house though isn't it but for some reason this just feels a little too like uh medieval tudor style for me it's not supposed to look like a tudor style house but it really does with the birch so, I don't know. I may end up changing this house up a little bit. I'm not completely sold with it, but this is going to be the location of our bee farm. Now, I have these decorative uh, beehives out here, uh, just so it actually looks like this is going to be what it's doing. But I think we'll have our bee farm hidden in here somehow. Uh, I'm thinking for the interior here, we'll do a bunch of barrels, uh, making it look like it's all filled with honey. Uh, so we'll probably just have a location somewhere around here where like there's a barrel that gets filled up with all the honeycomb and honey bottles. And then of course upstairs we'll just have some normal like housing style stuff. And by the way, here is a new texture I've been working on. Uh, this is the birch door texture. Birch door and birch trap door. And let's go ahead and swap these around. I think there's supposed to be no. Uh, how do these go? There we go. So yeah, you can see I just kind of wanted to add like some arches into the texture uh, and then add a little section on the bottom too that was the like paper texture. I think it turned out pretty good. And here is, whoops, here's the door item texture in case you're curious. And you know what? I'm going to try, I'm going to try to get this update out to the Patreons before this episode comes out. Patreons. Uh, Twitch subs and YouTube members all have access to this in my Discord. As long as your Discord account is linked uh, to wherever you're pledging. So yeah, that and lots of other new textures like the planks. I don't remember if I mentioned that or not, uh, but I also been working on the stone texture a little bit. Pretty similar to the vanilla texture, but uh, I just wanted to change it up a little bit and make it my own texture. And then also the grass top texture. And I'm sure there's other stuff that I'm forgetting as well, like the inventory, that's one that I've been doing. Yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot of stuff that I'm changing. But for today's episode, there's a couple of things I want to try to do. For starters, I would like to head in here and work on an auto smelter. Uh, I'm thinking we can hide it underneath this area here. We could probably dig out a big section underneath here. I'm thinking, somebody suggested, actually a few people suggested in the last episode, make the floor in here the uh, magma block, and I think that's a really good idea. Maybe a mix of the magma block and like some gray concrete powder to look like ash, probably. It looks kind of like this texture, a little bit, maybe a little less blue, but I think it'll work. Uh, but then we can hide a, probably like a minecart, a, a hopper minecart underneath one of those blocks. Uh, and have it feed down into the auto smelter. And then I think we'll have a little minecart heading up and heading out here. And we'll have some chests lined up here to drop off the stuff from the auto smelter. So we'll get to work on that here in a minute. But also later in the episode, I would like to start working on a stop church over here. I don't know if we'll be able to finish it in this episode or not. I would like to, uh, but that is going to be another goal for this episode is working on a stop church. We'll have that sitting right over here and we are going to be building up the terrain quite a bit for that because I felt it like it would be kind of weird if it was just sitting in this low valley. I kind of want it to be one big thing that stands out in the village. So we're going to build up the terrain quite a bit. Uh, and then that's going to kind of also help us ease into a pathway leading up the mountainside, which we probably won't be working on in today's episode, but that'll be good for later down the road. But I have a lot of material gathering to get to. So let me go ahead and get to work on that and we'll come back and get started on the smeltery. All right, I've gathered up a bunch of materials uh, and I've also went ahead and dug out this entire area down here. This is where we're going to be putting the smeltery for today. 
So I'm not exactly sure where I want to start with this, but we're going to go ahead and craft up all these hopper mine cards because we're definitely going to be using them at some point. Uh, also, I just remembered I need to grab sticks for rails. But you know what? I think we can just go ahead and get started on placing some of this stuff down and then we'll go get grab the rails later on. So we're going to start off right above this crafting table. We're going to go up, I think, uh, three, I think the hoppers will be on this block. So four. And then we're going to put furnaces all along here. And we have a stack of these. So we're going to go 32 on this side and then we're going to do another row on this side of 32. I divided it in half because I felt like a stack was a bit overkill. We can always add more later on, but for now we're just going to do a stack. I mean, for now we're going to do a half a stack, not a stack. Uh, so we'll do another 16 over on this side. All right, there we go. Good, good, good. Now we're just going to go over along all the top of these blocks and put hoppers. And then we're also going to do hoppers along the back side here. And for this design, I didn't exactly copy anybody's tutorial, but I mean, it's a fairly simple, uh, it's a fairly simple setup. You just got to have hoppers along the top to feed in the items that you're smelting. Uh, let's say we want to smelt coal or cobblestone, not coal. Throw it in the hopper here, it goes into the top, and then coal goes into this hopper here and it feeds into the bottom slot. Now at the very end here, I think we're gonna go, I think we're gonna go up right here, I believe. Maybe, um, hmm. yeah, actually we'll go up right here uh, and then we're gonna do a hopper facing down there, a hopper facing into the, that way, that way, and then we're gonna go all the way down and connect all these up. Okay, so now we're going to start getting pretty technical here. So we're going to go ahead and bring out the stone bricks like this. Uh, and then one here on the end. And we'll put powered rail along here. And I don't remember exactly how far I want to bring that up. But uh, we'll have this feeding up into the main room up there. And I'll show you that in a minute. But from here, we are going to have a comparator, which I need to craft. That will go right here like that. And then we'll have a redstone repeater right there like that. Then we'll have a redstone dust right there, I think another brick here, and then a repeater there, full block there, two full blocks here, and then we'll just go ahead and feed this around like this. Nope, not there. Ah, you know what? I built this whole thing one block too low. Hang on a second. Okay, here we go. Repeater there, redstone there, repeater there. We're going to have a redstone torch here on this side. Redstone, redstone redstone and another repeater right there and then this is where the minecart is going to sit obviously but as items are feeding through here that'll light up all this stuff that'll deactivate this block here which will deactivate the rails uh so the redstone or the the hopper minecart will sit there while the hopper is feeding into it and then it goes so we're gonna be doing this setup right here i think three more times we'll have one over here on this side because this is going to be feeding into the coal so we're going to have another one right here for feeding in all the items into the furnaces. Uh, and then we'll have another one here for the same thing. And then we'll have another one that'll be dividing the items in between the two. I think that's right. I think that's how we're going to have it going. So you know what? Now that we got the main things shown off, I'm going to go ahead and rebuild this a couple more times, get all these rails in here, uh, and then we'll come back and try to get it working. All right, I believe we have this thing all finished up now. So right over here, this is where... Wait a minute. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Hang on a second. We need to put a rail there, a hopper minecart there, and then a magma block on top of that. Is that right? I think so. And I don't remember if I mentioned it earlier, but somebody in the last episode recommended I make the floor uh, magma blocks. I think I'm going to do a mix of magma and gray concrete powder. And now that I'm saying this, I think I did mention this earlier, so we'll forget about it. But this is where we're gonna be dropping the coal. Okay, good, that went in. Let's go ahead and drop all that in. That should, hopefully, I think it's slowly feeding in. So we'll leave that there for now. And then on this side, we're gonna do, uh, let's go ahead and build this up there, that there, I can't place do that, okay. Uh, we're just gonna do that. Magma block there, and we're going to go ahead and throw in some cobblestone to smelt. Now, if this all works, this should, this should feed in to, um, or this should go through all the furnaces and come out here. Now, I don't have, I don't have it all connected yet. I'm going to have a rail coming down there, 
uh, onto a little table with some chests. Uh, but I'm gonna have another sorter. But I'm gonna have another uh, D. What do you call them? Uh, unloader, a uh, hopper unloader thing, minecart unloader uh, that I have to build there. So I haven't done it yet. But let's go ahead and hop down and take a look at what's going on. So this is feeding through. Oh wow, it's okay. It's going pretty slow. I may need to figure out something a little bit different for this. Maybe I just take out half of this and make it one long row. Uh, but I thought this would be a little easier to build. But maybe it's just making it even more complicated. But okay, the coal is all fed into these. Is it all? Okay, it's not all even. Um, interesting. Is it on this side? It's not at all on this side. Okay. Okay, yeah, I figured I would have to do this a little bit differently. So we only have one side working right now, but that's okay, I think. So the coal is getting fed into all of these, it seems like. Uh, looks like it's not making it all the way down. That's okay. Now, oh, ah. I forgot, we need to put minecarts right here. Yeah, 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 okay, this, okay, 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 hang on a second, I need to grab one more. Actually, I don't really, since this side isn't working right now, but we need to put one right there, and that should, yeah, that should fill up and then spread it all throughout the furnaces there. We're gonna go ahead and grab these here and put them into this hopper right there, boom, boom. And I think, yeah, the furnaces are going. Those last few aren't getting filled up. I'm not exactly sure what I should do to fix that, uh, but hopefully we should start seeing stuff come out pretty soon here. Oh, you know what, did I forget? Yes, I did forget to put one here as well. Okay, boom, there we go. And, aha, there it is. Now it's not gonna go back on its own yet because obviously I didn't set up the sorter or anything yet, but go ahead and send it back on our own. And there we go, 10 more stone. So yeah, once I get that set up, then this is gonna be a pretty good system, I think. Pretty decent system, at least. Um, need to figure out how to evenly spread the coal a little bit better. So I'm gonna go ahead now. I'm gonna finish this thing up, get the uh, the sorter thing set up down here, uh, and then we'll come back when it's all said and done. Okay, I think, I think I have it working now. I think. So it should come and drop off stuff here. Uh, and then it'll stop for a second and then it'll go again, obviously. Unfortunately, we did have the redstone for that thing uh, break through a little bit on this side, but I don't think uh, it should be a problem once we get this hull in here. So it shouldn't be too big of a problem. But now what I wanna do, I wanna head over here and start working on the stop charge. So I'm gonna get started by building up all the terrain here. I may even go ahead and build up the road leading up out of the valley here. But either way, I'm gonna get the terrain started over here and then we'll come back and start building up the actual build. All right, we're back and I have been preparing for this build quite a bit. As you can see, I've got a ton of dark oak, a ton of spruce wood, a ton of blackstone, and I've been building up the terrain like I mentioned I was going to. Let's go ahead and take a look underneath so I can show you exactly how high I've raised it since so there you go, you can see it has been raised up quite a bit and I'm kind of thinking, I don't know if it was uh, something they would do for these stop churches, but I was thinking it could be kind of cool to do like some catacombs underneath the place. I don't think they did do that, but I don't know, maybe they did. And I mean, this is Minecraft anyways, we don't have to try to recreate everything exactly how it would be. Uh, but let's go ahead and get out of here. So it could be cool, I don't know, it could be cool. But we're gonna have the road wrap up through here. That's why it's kind of flat right here. Uh, we're gonna have to texture up this wall here a little bit. I just put this in just to get it in for now. Uh, and then we'll come back in with some other blocks later on. But the road will wrap around up here and then lead up to the church up here. And then over on this side, you can see this line right here. This is where the road is gonna be leading up the mountain. We're gonna have it going up this way. We'll have a couple of switchbacks uh, and then dig out a little bit of a valley right up through here. And then we'll have the road leading out through here and leading out into the plains over here. I think that'll be good. Yeah, check this out. This place is really starting to starting to kind of wrap all together, I feel like. Once we get the, uh, the longhouse built up over there, and then I wanna get some horse stables built up right down in here, and then a little pond, I think, right for over here. But once we get all that done, maybe just like a couple more episodes, uh, we'll be getting pretty close to the finished product for this area. Now, I do think, the reason I'm leading this road out over here into this plains is I do think that eventually we can come out here and expand the Nordic stuff if we ever want to come back and do Nordic style in the future. 
or even if we have an idea for after we're finished up with everything there, uh, then we can just come out here into this plane to do some more Nordic stuff and it would kind of tie in uh, with the area here still, I feel like. So still a lot of potential for stuff we can do here, but, but I think we're getting close to the end of this phase. Uh, but let's go ahead and just get started on this. All right, so let's start putting this together. So the very front entrance is going to be right about here. I think this is centered. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, this should be centered. And I think we'll go up one, two, three, four blocks on this side, four blocks on this side, of course. And then we'll just make a little bit of a uh, triangle shape here and strip all those, of course. And then we're gonna do a little bit of a trim for the roof here. Let's go ahead and put some filler blocks here like this. And we'll go logs all along like this. And then to add in some details here and there, we're gonna do stuff like this. So this area that I'm building right now is actually gonna be the front of the porch. Uh, and then we'll have a wall around here that'll have the doorway leading into the actual build. So there'll be a porch going all the way around the building about two blocks out and that's what i'm building up right now let's go back up let's do slabs all along the top here top here on this side as well and then then we're gonna get fancy so let's do upside down slab there right set up stair there stair there uh let's do a filler block right here upside down stair there break that slab there and that should be it actually and there we go. It kind of looks like a little bit of a dragon head, maybe. Uh, like, that's the mouth, and then that's, like, the horns going back. I don't know. Kind of. Kind of looks like that. Kind of just looks like a random carving, maybe. But either way, I think that's going to look cool. And we're going to have that all over the build. I believe every time there's a little archway like that, we'll have one of those on top of it. So, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go around. We'll do... I think we're just going to do, like, strip logs... Uh, I think three high for every place that doesn't have a, a, a peak like that. And then we'll do dark oak planks in the middle of it. So we'll do one there like that. We'll do strip logs here. One, two strip logs. And we'll do that all the way around. I think you guys get the idea. Well, this is going to take way longer than I thought because, well, I'm out. I'm out of dark oak. I mean, I got some planks and stairs left, but I am completely out of dark oak logs and I need to do like three times as much as this maybe not three times as much but pretty close because we have two or three more layers to do i forget i forget exactly how many but we have a long way to go still i think the build is going to be like 50 blocks tall or something like that so yeah i'm definitely gonna have to do a lot more wood gathering but this is making me think maybe we should look into getting a tree farm set up i've never built one of these in minecraft before but I feel like it wouldn't be too difficult to do. I know some people used to do them with like gas, bringing a gas into the overworld. That sounds crazy to me. I don't want to do that one. <laughs> but with a TNT duper, I think it might be possible. And also, I think it might be perfect. Uh, I kind of mentioned earlier on in the season, I want to do a specific farm or a couple specific farms for each like themed kingdom that we do. I think it might be perfect for the next little small little kingdom that we do which i don't want to spoil just yet but if you follow me on instagram or if you're in my discord you may have gotten a sneak peek at it already but yeah so i am gonna get back to work harvesting a bunch of wood uh maybe there's a better way to do this maybe i should just line them all up and harvest them i don't know but i'm gonna get back to work on this and i'll be back in just a little bit all right, I've been hard at work gathering a bunch of dark oak and some spruce wood. You can see I've got quite a bit. Still probably not nearly as much as we're going to end up needing. But I think what I'm going to do now, I think I'm going to go ahead and just do a time lapse. I think I'm going to do a time lapse of building up a big part of the build here. Maybe not the entire thing, uh, but a large section of it. And before I do that, actually, let's go ahead and talk about what we're going to be doing for the roof. So using blackstone, we're going to grab the polished blackstone blocks and the polished blackstone brick blocks. And we're doing something crazy here. We are not going to be using any stairs, any stairs, any slabs, nothing, all full blocks, maybe some walls here and there. Uh, but other than that, no, no stairs and no slabs. So just like that, that is what we're going to be doing for the entire roof, pretty much. Like I said, maybe some minor changes here and there. Maybe with the backside, we might do a little bit of some different uh, different blocks. But 
yeah that's the basic idea and now i think we're gonna go ahead and jump into a time lapse of me building up the rest of this build because we got the basic ideas down i think and if there's anything else i need to mention then we can come back together later and talk about them once it's all done so let's go ahead and get into that right now And there we go, got it all finished up, and it is looking so good. I absolutely love how this build turned out. So I went ahead, obviously, I went ahead and just did the entire thing in the time lapse because I decided to do a little stream uh, the other night and work out this entire thing on camera. Oh gosh. So if you do want to see the whole process of me building this whole thing, then uh, I'll try to remember to link the stream replay in the description. But if I forget to do that, there should be a playlist on my channel for previous live streams, and it should be in there. But we got a lot of work to do on this still, so we aren't done yet. Uh, I need to do the interior here, obviously. You got a lot of stuff to do in here. I would like to have one main hall or main uh, room in the middle here with pews and a little area at the end for like the preacher to stand. I think that'd be pretty cool. And uh, there's a lot of really cool uh, interior stuff with these Nordic with these stop churches that I think would be pretty cool to try to pull off in vanilla. But that is all stuff we'll probably get into in the next episode. Uh, also, a lot of stuff I want to do outside. We need to do a little bit of terraforming, uh, make some paths around here, touch up this a little bit. But yeah, like I said, that'll all be stuff we can get into in the next episode. But I think that is going to do it for today's episode. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Let me know what you think of the stop church, how it turned out. Like I said, I think it turned out really, really sick. And let me know how I did on the smeltery. It's the first time I've done anything like this before, and I think it turned out pretty cool. I'm happy with it. But yeah, again, that'll do it. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure to leave a like, and I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye.